Hey everybody, Jamie Starr. On um, this video, I'm going to talk about, as you can see, Milo Yiannopoulos' latest book, How to Be Poor. It's a very short book, as you can see. Um, listening to it on my Kindle, because it has the text-to-speech, probably took under an hour, maybe an hour total. I, I listened to it, the majority of it, while I was making a, a soup, like, in the kitchen. Um, there's a bunch of really good pointers in this. Uh, for the most part, it was stuff I knew. But one of the things that I really liked about the book that I felt like I could personally relate to Milo with this is the fact that, you know, um, finances are something I struggle with. And people can find it hard to believe that someone can be a talented musician, very educated on politics and nutrition and all sorts of different things, and then have one area that they just draw a blank on and just don't really know. Um, I did take a class on markets and stocks and all that, so I understand that stuff a little bit. Um, but I'm not good with finances. However, I will say a lot of the stuff in the book I did know, so I guess I know how to be poor and still live a... I, I don't live beyond my means, basically. Like, one of the big pointers in it that I thought was really great that Milo mentioned is something that I tell people all the time, because when I, I the restaurant I work in is a health food place, essentially. And, you know, all the time you hear people, when you tell them they should eat better, they say, but it's so expensive. And it's like, it's not. It's actually very cheap to do so. But the thing I do is I live off the markdown rack where it's like you could go to a store and buy three avocados at a dollar fifty a piece fresh off the, you know, regular produce aisle, you know, at three fifty a piece, you're paying four dollars and fifty cents. Or you could go to the markdown rack. Buy the three avocados in a package for 79 cents like I do that are ripe that day. Open them up, throw them in a container, throw a little bit of lime on it so that they stop ripening, and you're good. And you just spent a fraction of the price. And that's what I do. I buy all of my produce off Markdown Racks. Yeah, you might not get what you want when you want. And sometimes it is a little bit of, oh, I see they have this. I see they have this. I'll make an eggplant ratatouille. But you're still eating better than you would if you were eating tons of processed shit and everything like that. Um, the other thing I'll do is I'll also buy things off the Markdown Rack and I'll just chop them up and freeze them jalapenos is something i'll do that with where you know i can buy a package of jalapenos for a dollar or less chop them all up throw them in the freezer when i need a couple i'll just break a chunk off the frozen block throw them in some cold water let them thaw out then mince them up throw them in what i need generally i'm throwing them in the avocados um so milo's book basically shows that there are ways to live functional for very little now in milo's story he was very deep in debt after everyone sort of turned on him and blacklisted him and everything like that so it's basically him explaining how he was spending exuberance amounts and you know surrounding himself with people that were using him because of his money and fame and everything like that and you know how to avoid that it's basically like john mccaffrey's story about how at the height of his success monetarily, he was the most miserable. Um, and, you know, you realize that when the money dries up. My, in Milo's case, he had other people controlling his finances and stuff like that and, you know, wasn't paying that much attention to himself. But, you know, now he's learned from his mistakes. Um, on the back, I'll just read you this little blurb. Recently, I became poor. It's disgusting, and it means God loves me less than he loves you. I know my tragic penury won't last forever, but in the case you two 
have been fired or something you said or abruptly cut off from your trust fund, this book will explain how to navigate life when you're unexpectedly yanked from privilege and told to err earn a living pay close attention to the tips i've picked up and you might just make it out alive and with minimal split ends so as you can tell the book is written with milo's you know catty sense of humor and stuff um let's see let me just read you off some of the chapters and then i can you know get into it uh staying thin getting around your hair now it's okay so i can go through some of these staying thin um i forget what that one was but i think he was just basically talking about gym memberships and uh oh eat it yeah talking about eating well and stuff like that and uh you know all that um forget restaurants and bars exist you know learn how to cook for yourself um getting around he talks about how he would overspend on ubers and things like that and you know that there's public transportation and, you know, different m means of getting around your hair. This is one, another one I can relate to. I generally, I can't remember the last time I went and got a haircut. Like, I think the last time I did was a friend brought me and was like, I'm paying for you to get a haircut because you don't ever. And this is something I haven't done since high school. I bought a pair of clippers and I always cut my own hair. Or I just cut it once a year and then let it grow and then cut it again a year later um but he says you know find a friend that knows how to cut hair black people always know a barber that's a friend you know if if even if it's a friend that does it professionally you can get him to do it for a little cheaper um picking new friends um putting out and dealing with shame let's see uh the one the one thing i thought was really funny let's see shop for groceries intelligently don't stop working out. He talks about how to work out without, you know, needing a gym or anything like that. Uh, let's see. What was the one thing I thought was interesting? In this one part, putting out, um, he basically says, you know, talks about how the one thing everyone has and how it's the oldest thing is, um, sex and using your body and basically says you know if things get really really tough you know camming and uh you know even if you're like a guy you could sign up on one of these cam sites and fucking work out and have people throw you tips girls do this online you know you see the gamer girls with like painting their tits and makeup tutorials and things like that like I mean, there's you can use your body to make money and not be a prostitute in today's day and age. Um, selling your body, but not for sex. Yeah. Um, let's see. So, yeah, I mean, that's that's pretty much it. Like I said, again, very short book, very quick read, entertaining. Um, I do like it in that that format. It's a. Uh, very good. I would recommend it to anyone and uh, especially people who, you know, whether you are, you know, down and out like Milo recommends from a high place knocked down or if you are just struggling and need some tips how to live a better lifestyle without spending a lot of money. It's definitely good information. So that's all I have to say. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment and, you know, have a good one.